Oh, Banjo, I remember the time that you were like announced just yesterday. Hello guys, I'm Attacker Simulator 2 here, and today, Banjo right now has been one of the most requested characters ever to be added in Smash for like two decades. No joke, two decades. He wasn't in Smash in the beginning because Microsoft bought Rare out, and Nintendo has such a relationship with Rare, and Nintendo almost bought it out, but nope. Microsoft, bam, bought Banjo out, and now, he, he wasn't ever, never in a Smash game until now. So today, guys, I'm going to predict what's going to happen in Banjo-Kazooie's 5.0 update for Smash Ultimate. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and let's get started. So what do we expect for Banjo-Kazooie's 5.0 update? Well, let's go in the order of each update. Update 2.0 has the Piranha Plant, but no things at all, but nothing new at all. Joker has 3.0 and it bought Sage Builder. Hero from Dragon Quest bought its 4.0 and they didn't add that much, just online tournament and it predicted what's gonna happen in its spectate mode. But Banjo Kazooie, it's a safe bet of what we're gonna expect, but, uh, but the thing is, I'm gonna predict what I think is gonna happen. But these are only my predictions, you might think. What you might think it's not gonna happen, it's your opinion, that's all. So, let's get started with the obvious pet fact that Banjo Kazooie is gonna be the fighter, obviously. The stage is actually gonna be Spiral Mountain. I mean, it's kinda obvious since that's gonna be the first thing, like the first thing you do when you start the game of Banjo Kazooie. And, but the music selection is very interesting. You see, well, you see, we actually get reveal. you see, they revealed Spiral Mountain, but it's a remix and not the original. But, the thing is, who knows what, I mean, who knows, maybe, maybe Nintendo and Grant Kurthope might actually, um, add the original Spiral Mountain music. People are expecting Final Battle, the original, and the remix, hope they do that. Because, I mean, hey, it's the most famous one back in the 90s, where you fight Gruntilda. Uh, Mumble's Mountain, Jingo Village, wait no, not Jingo, Jinjo's Village, Treasure Trove Ca Cove, opening theme, the remix and the original, I mean, who cannot deny the opening theme, it's so satisfying and beautiful, and Click Clock Wood, but it's the spring music. Now guys, since Nuts and Bolts is one of the most infamous games ever since they, in, in the Xbox, I'm gonna say, if they ever go to add Banjo-Kazooie alternate skin with the Nuts and Bolts skin, then they might add a Banjo Nuts and Bolts music, which is, and I only come in with two right now, which is Banjo Land and the title theme, and that's kind of about it. So these are all the music, this is what we're gonna get for Banjo-Kazooie, but what about the spirits, since every fighter in each update has their own spirit board? Well, guys, I have a list of them, but I think is I think, yeah, but I really want to tell you that I know one YouTuber who did, who made this video about predicting what's gonna what good spirits are gonna be in the spirit board, what spirit battles they have, and all that. It's known as VG Chat, VG Chat, and I think it's in the subscription. Um, like I'll put the his channel on the link in the descriptions below. And put in the right hand corner if you can look it up there and all that. But yeah, so the spirits, in my opinion, they're gonna have this fighter spirits, obviously Banjo the Bear and Kazooie the Breagle. And but the thing is, why did I why did I separate them? Well, because they each have their own render, but if Nintendo is kind of cool enough, they might just put them together and then make them one character. I mean, that would be neat, right? The primary spirits. Mumbo Jumbo, Tooty the Bear, Bottles the Mole, Jam Jars the Mole, Gruntilda Wikibunion, Klungo, and I don't think you can see it, but it says Humba Wumba. And the support spirits, Gruntilda Wikibunion, Gruntilda Sister, Captain Blubber, Jiggies, Jolly Roger, Wikibunion Sisters, and Log, known as Lord of Games from Nuts and Bolts. Though in my opinion, if there, since Rare owns Banjo, and since Microsoft's working together with Rare, I'm pretty sure they might actually um, add some Rare Spirits like Conquer or the Battle Toads, all three Battle Toads, Jeff Force Gemini, and the Whiz Pig. Now, right now, guys, recently I looked up the rumor that Jeff Force Gemini was actually in the Spirit Files for some reason. So, could this mean we might get to see Rare Spirits from, from obviously Rare Limited and all that? 
And yeah, those are all the spirits. And like I said, if you want to see what the YouTuber known as VG Chat thinks of what spirits and what battles they're gonna check, um, go check his channel in the descriptions below. All right. Um. So, but the meat costumes, I actually come up with a few of them. Um, from the brawler, conquer the squirrel and the Jinjos. I know it's kind of stupid, but the Jinjos could just have a hat and all that. But he could just have the body of the Jinjo. It's kind of like with Yoshi's Woolly World's costume. The sword fighter is okay. Fight me all you want. What Steve from Minecraft and the most obvious one, Mumbo Jumbo. Since that's kind of one of the most like most like speculated. Costumes to ever get added. See from Minecraft. I'm not sure what to expect from Steve though because Seeing Steve as a costume from sword fighter from the me sword fighter would be just interesting But weird at the same time like imagine a diamond sword imagine that You know and the me gunner is master chief and uh, and I mean since we didn't get Steve or master chief or any kind of Microsoft rep we might as well get um, a gunner, a me gunner skin, well, costume for a Master Chief, just to support Halo and the new Halo game that was announced during Xbox E3. Now, guy, and yeah, that's about it. Now, guys, um, now as I said before, Joker and Hero bought their own new modes on each update. For me, though, the most two infamous ones and well, the two most famous and most rumored ones are Target Smash. And boss rush, boss rush will be quite interesting, and they might add Porky Bats, Porky back, sadly, because due to because he somehow disappeared. He like somehow never appeared in Ultimate, not as a spirit or a boss. He just never appeared as well. so in a boss rush. They might add some new bosses, maybe with Gruntilda, as people are speculating with with like Gruntilda being in boss rush. Target Smash is something we have to talk about because, um, it, because it was never in the base game when it first released. But people are expecting Target Smash, and and people are not gonna expect I don't know Target Blast. You know that one weird Egrin Birds thing where you just throw like hit a bomb and then you just destroy targets. Yeah, no one wants that. I mean, if you guys want it back, then let me know in the comments section below. Boss Rush could be interesting. New bosses. And all that. Target Smash is kind of obvious since we got Sage Builder back, so why not Target Smash? And that's about it, guys. Um, These are all the things I I actually come up with for the 5.0 update. But, um, and like I said, go check out VG Chat's um, channel in the description below in the right-hand corner. But well, here's the real question. When, when does he actually come out? Well, right now, guys, the most rumored one is something to do with coming with Banjo coming out next month because he comes out fall, right? And fall starts on September 23rd, which is a Monday, I think. And Hero and Joker, they all came out on a Wednesday. Um, Piranha Plant came out on a Tuesday on January 29th before he even came out on February. But Banjo, he might either come out on a Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday. Now, I did predict this a while back, back in June, where I predicted Heroes release date on July, which I got right. Banjo-Kazooie either September or October. Either way, it could be either of those months. And also right now, the, and also right now, as you guys heard, there is the Amiibo theory that when before the Amiibos come out, they first come out, and then either two or three days later, they release the character. It's kind of like which, like the Ken, Daisy, um, Young Link, and Pichu amiibo. No, wait, that's not Pichu. There was like, I forgot the fourth one, but those four amiibos. And then they actually come out, and then the character comes out a few days later, which is Joker. Then on July, there we got Pokemon Trainer, Isabel, and I think Pichu now. And a few days later... And we got Hero. So, and also, the next upcoming ones, Snake, Ivysaur, and Squirtle, I think, they come out September 20, 20th, and then possibly either on Wednesday, Tuesday, or Thursday, they might, re like, release Banjo on that day. So that's the thing. It's kind of like the whole, it's kind of like a pattern. It's And after that, possibly November, 
we're going to have e we're going to have the Fort Fighter in either 2020 on January or February. We're going to have the Final Fighter, and yeah, guys, that's about it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, what do you think of this video? Do you think this might happen? Do you agree with my spirits? Do you agree with all the music, all the costumes? I think. Just let me know in the comments below. And also, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, make sure you subscribe. Um, hit the notification bell for more videos. And leave a like. And hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember this, guys. Once a legend, always a legend.